So when I modified this horse trailer, I had to strip all the old lights off it. One of my big complaints was the trailer company just put these rear lights on here and uh, when it got covered with snow, you couldn't see this trailer at all. It was pitch dark. So my friend TJ's here from California. He's a great, great mechanic and he's fixing everything I own, thank God. And he, uh, I just had him add those lights and those lights and those lights up front. And most importantly, potentially, I had him add this camera right here so that I can see what's going on here in the uh, in the trailer when I'm hauling animals. I didn't like not being able to see. So if you go up front here, you can see there's TJ in the trailer and uh, just it's just attached to the windshield. It's got a little wireless signal and just plugs into the uh, cigarette lighter there and he's got it wired up to the connector there. So when the lights are on on the truck, the camera's on. So just little things like that make a huge difference because when it's blowing snow, I couldn't see the trailer at all, but now there's four lights on the front, two lights in the back, plus the camera. Now he's got to fix the brakes on this thing. It's still got a little bit of cancer on it, which I need to fix, but all in all, this trailer's a million times better than when I bought it. It was still stupidly expensive, but as I've talked about before, you know, you either get it or you don't get it, even if it's drunk, because there's just nothing else up here. There's no ag industry to speak of in Alaska, and uh, and he really developed one so I'm just modifying things as I use them and I learn what I need and what works and what doesn't work but it's great to have a mechanic here fixing this and the camera's gonna be great and the lights are great so it's 15 below outside and we're working away in the shop today and that's what we're doing